Welcome back to another video. My name is Brooke. Um, today, we're going to be talking about directionals. Um, this is a bit of a longer concept because there's kind of a lot that goes into it, so we're going to hop right into it. And so, a directional is simply a word that shows a direction. Um, it's the simplest definition I can think of. What it is isn't really important. Or the definition of directional really isn't that important. I don't understand it all the way myself. The important thing is this. Um, in in, in Tongan, there are three general directionals. And we're going to talk about all three of those. Um, but first, I want to note that directionals, at least how we're going to use them right now, are add-ons. Meaning, if we have a sentence, we can just tack these onto the end of the sentence. Um, it means that we can take away this directional phrase and the sentence will still be the same. Um, for example, I am sitting on the chair. This would be an example of a directional, the word on. Um, but it's an add-on in the sense that I can say, I am sitting on the chair, that makes sense. Or I can just say, I am sitting. That's also a sentence in English. And it's the same idea in Tongan. We have a sentence and we can add something on and we can easily take it off and it still just makes sense. Um, and so that's what I mean by an add-on. Um, and so let's hop right into it. So like I said, there's, there's three main directionals that we're gonna focus on right now. Um, the first one is two. The second one is a combo. It's in, at, and on. And you'll see what I mean in a second. And then we have from. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to split these up into, into a little table here. And I think it'll help us all understand. And so what we're gonna do first is we're going to focus on two, and then we'll go from there. Give me a second, I'll fill this out. So like I said, we're gonna, we're gonna start with two. This is two as the directional. And so maybe you've watched the other video that says two, meaning for the purpose of, this is the other thing, this means two. If I'm saying I'm going to the store, this is what I say, this two right here as a directional. And so, as you can see, I have three different categories. And we're gonna talk about this one because this is gonna be what you use most often. And it's going to be gi he. Gi he. So if you've watched the A-type, sentence video, which I'm hoping you have. Oguo'alu means I am going kihe falekolo, to the store. Um, and so you'll see a lot of similarities if you've watched the Moe video already with this. Um, and so I'm going to bring this down here. Kihe. And I'm going to make some notes here. Um, Ki means to. Hey, you can think of it as the if you want to, but oh, you know, a lot of times you're just gonna say he. The only time you're not gonna say he is if you're talking about a proper place, um, a proper noun place. So if I'm if I'm talking about Tonga or America or Salt Lake City or San Francisco or whatever the place is, I'm just going to say ki. So no he. And let me write this in red so we can clarify. No he with proper noun places, such as Bonga, America, etc. Right? So if I'm saying Ogualu, I am going Ogualuki, Tonga, 
then I just say D, just like you heard. Ogoaukitonga. If I wanted to say I'm going to the store or I am going to the house, Ogoaukihe api, Goalukihe falikoloa, Goalukihe malae bakapuna. I'm going to the airport. Whatever you're saying, most often you're going to say Gihe. Um, if you wanted to, or if, if you need to, if you wanted to say, I'm going to my house, you'd say, You can switch this with a possessive, just like, just like we learned with moen, right? And so something we can switch this with is um, a possessive. So we could say like, hoku, eku, ho, ho, whatever we want to say, we can switch that with possessive. So I'm going to your house, or I'm going to my house, Go aluki hoku api, whatever you want to say, we can switch it with possessive. We can also switch it with, if you remember, we can switch it with ha, which is kind of emphasizing the singularity of something. So I'm going to a funeral. Go aluki ha putu. I'm going to a marriage or wedding. Go aluki ha mari. However you want to say it, we can say the word ha. Um, and so that's, that's gihe. And the reason this is going to be useful is because these same rules are going to apply to all of to these two as well. Um, but we're going to do, we're going to talk all about gihe. So if we're talking in general, most of the time we're going to say gihe. Or we're going to say gi, or we're going to say giha, or we're going to say gi eku, gi hoku, whatever, to a possessive, right? Um, and so the second way we're going to use this is when we're talking about names of people. And so, you might have noticed I didn't say anything about proper noun people. Because proper noun people, we're always going to use the phrase kia. So, kia. So, whenever we're talking about a proper noun with people, we're going to use the phrase kia. So, I'm going to Sione. Ko alukia Sione. I'm going to Tomasi. Ko alki Tomasi. Um, whenever we're saying to a directional, a proper noun person, a proper name of a person, human being, such as bro, we're going to say kia. Um, simple enough, right? So, the last one is kiate. And the way we use kiate is we use it with post post pronoun. So say I am going to them. Ogo au kiate kinato, which is them. Or I am going to her. Ogo au kiate ia. Um, kiate ia being the to her. So anytime we have a post post pronoun, we're going to use kiate. That's how we say to. So all of these mean to, but depending what we're directing towards or depending what we're going to or doing something to, um, depends on whether, or will dictate whether or not we use kihe, kia, or kiate. Um, so, by way of reminder, most everything we're going to say kihe, we're going to use this phrase, however we end up using it. Um, if it's a name of a person, we're using kia, and if it's a post-post pronoun, such as I, or you, or he, she, it, or they, we're going to say kiate. You'll never use a pre-post pronoun with this, it just wouldn't make sense. Um, so our post-post pronouns are like au, Goe, ia, kimato, kimao, kitato, all those is when we're going to use this. And so this is simple because now that we understand how to use to, it's going to make it really easy to understand how to use in, at, on, and from. And so it's going to follow the exact pattern. We're going to go ihe, ia, and iate. I am sitting. On the chair. Ogo tangutu i sea. I live in Tonga. Ogo nofo i Tonga. Because Tonga is a place, remember? Um, I am... Uh, standing on the floor. Ko tu i he fariki. Um, that's how we're going to use that. These seem a little awkward to use. And the reason is, is because a lot of these phrases kind of mean this these are these are pretty loose especially this one because in Tongan we say phrases like I am mad at you um, so it's kind of like at so 
Iyatekoi is how we would say that. And there's different, there's different verbs, um, different adjectives, whatever, that use some of these phrases, not the same as we do in English. Um, a, a really good example is one you've probably heard. I love to you. It's kind of the direct translation of that. But that's how we say it in Italian. We don't offer something, we offer to something. Ko ofa ke asione. Ko ofa ki he tahine. Whatever you want to say, we say love to. And so there's phrases like that, and a lot of them use this, this add on, this directional right here. I mean, so that's why if these feel a little awkward, like you're not going to say, like, oh, I'm on sione. Okuo tuu. Yeah, Sione, it doesn't, that's probably the reason it doesn't really flow very well. Um, but that's the idea, and so you get it. So depending on what we're um, in, at, or on is going to depend which one of these we use before we say that word. Um, and it's the same exact idea with from. From, we have me, he, in parentheses, because if it's a proper name of a place, we're just going to say me. Um, you can probably guess this one. We have mea. And then you could probably also guess this one. May have to. These are our directional add-ons. Simple enough. We have to, in, slash, at, slash, on, and then from. So, I am coming from the store. Um, I came from Sione's house. Um, I just came from them. Like, I was just talking to them and I just came from them. That's how we use these. Um, it's kind of a lot to take in, but the same principles that I talked about with kihe apply to ihe and mehe. Same with kia. These principles apply to ia and mea. Same with kiate. Iate and meate. Depending what we're talking about and depending what add on or directional we're using will depend on what we use on this chart. Thank you.